Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Taste Test right here on YouTube.com slash Seanosaurus Rex. My name is Sean, and every Saturday on the channel, I try the weird, the wonderful, and the limited edition. If you're brand new to the show or to the channel, uh, thanks. Welcome. Hopefully you enjoy. Be sure to scroll down, subscribe, ring the bell. You'll be notified when I post new videos. And you've also, if you're new, jumped into the third and final part of Seattle three, where I try stuff that I found in Seattle, majority at Ujimaya, but a couple items were uh, miscellaneous pickups while I was just walking around. Thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoy the content. Today we have maybe the most exciting episode. We have two really exciting items. One of them is maybe the most exciting item I've ever put on the channel. It's It's been interesting because like a couple weeks ago, I had the uh, kind of the holy grail item of the uh, orange vanilla cream M&Ms and that one that I'd been chasing down for a really long time. Chasing is a strong word. Looking at it longingly on the internet is more an accurate term of what I'd been doing with that. But since we had been to Ujimaya and we had been looking at fancy Kit Kats or different flavored Kit Kats they offer in other areas, um, we, I had, we, we looked around on the internet a little bit and we had discovered that there was a melon and usually melon means cantaloupe, not just melon. And I love cantaloupe. So it was one of those things where it was like, ah, it was like cantaloupe and cream or melon and cream. I was like, I don't know if I want cream, but lo and behold, we find just regular melon. And that is our, probably like our piece de resistance item here today is the melon Kit Kats. This will most likely be the last thing that we try or second to last, depending on how things go. Uh, we have an item a variant of something that we had had on the channel, I believe from a Japan crate. I think these are the, are the same thing. There were a couple that came in packages like this and they were slightly different. So we'll see which one this is, but this is a, this is a citrus flavor. It's like a Mandarin orange. Maybe I'm not hundred percent sure fruits like this don't make a whole lot of sense to me in the form of a sugary candy. That's where I understand it. Okay. I'm eating a lot of fruit in my life. Melon cakes are also on the show today. And uh, what looks to be Mountain Dew with a cream, ice cream and cherry element to it. That is specifically why I bought this item. I looked at it and I was like, oh, this looks like it's Mountain Dew. And then I saw the price and it was like $6. And I thought, oof, that's maybe a little too much for me. Then I saw it in a different section that was like $3. And I was like, well, this is a gamble. And I don't know how much I paid for it. So lo and behold, or I guess long story short, I bought it anyway. Um, and I bought it because it looked like Mountain Dew. So there, there you go. That's what's on the channel today. Hopefully I gave all the good spiel stuff earlier so we can just jump right in. Hopefully you've been enjoying these uh, Seattle ones. I know that the first one was good. The third one was good. The second one was a little incomplete. I kind of faltered on that one. But hopefully you're enjoying them. I have a good time looking for this stuff. Normally I'm searching for the latest and greatest of stuff that's released here in, a, in America. But when I go on trips, I like to find stuff that is specific to that area or uh, like in the case of California, they had a dollar general. So I was able to check some stuff out there. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed and uh, we'll, I'll continue to make the content. Look, I'm going to continue to make it whether you watch it or not. I just appreciate that you do watch it. Let's jump into some melon cakes. Let's try these out a little bit. I appreciate we had a lot of big W's in the last episode with how everything was individually packaged. I appreciate that that is continuing with our first one here and the Kit Kats will be individually packaged as well. These little gummy things, this is a free for all, but that is okay. So melon cake, luscious melon flavor, uh, wrapped in a light delectable sponge cake why I bought it. I forgot what the description read. I got to be, I got to be transported all over again and uh, reminded of why I bought it. I read it and I was like, oh, that sounds pretty good. And then forgot about it until I got, uh, got it open again. All right. Ooh, smells pretty good. Has an interesting texture. Kind of looks like a little hamburger bun. <laughs> Honestly, the coloration of it. Hopefully that shows okay on camera. It looks like it might be a little bit orange because I have it right next to the light, but there you go. It's very citrusy. I can get a lot of banana. I'm getting a lot of banana. That's alarming. That's not good. Mm. 
Hmm. That's not melon. That's like a lot of banana. I don't love it. It's uh, it's very dry. I think even if the flavor was different than banana, I still wouldn't be a huge fan of it. It's just not. Why does it say melon? Okay. Well, that's that. Not a huge fan of it. <clears throat> Glad that they're individually wrapped, which is nice. But um, banana. All right, let's try this one, a little orange. Hopefully kind of some kind of citrus flavor here. If I can get it open. Shoot, did I cut the, oh, got it. There we go. Oh, I almost spilled them all over the floor. Well, I almost dropped the bag on the floor. Spilling all over the floor implies that I had it open, which I did not. Oh, they're actually, oh, cool. They're like in the shape of like a little slice. That's fun. I like that. Oh, it even has like a little texture, like a fruit gummy. I don't know how well that's going to show, but maybe you can make it out there a little bit. These smell real good. These smell very citrusy. I want to give a very special shout out to whoever makes these. I love you. These are great, terrific flavor, great texture. They know what they are doing when it comes to making gummies because, or fruit snacks, because they are not wedged in all of my teeth. Everything came out. It's a kind of a weird thing. Sorry if you don't like teeth. I don't even like teeth. I understand it's weird and kind of, ugh. but. It is nice to be able to eat a gummy that does not like require a lot of extra work to like kind of get that out of your mouth. And these just the way that they're made, like they, they kind of stay together, but give you the flavor and like is completely, it's not like completely clean. I'm sure they're kind of dirty, whatever point is they are an enjoyable and easy to eat thing that like I look at and I go, okay, I can eat these without feeling like I'm going to have a bunch of crap in my teeth. They just... They have the science down. They have it down. They, they know what they are doing. They have perfected the art of a delicious and good to eat little fruit snack. Thank you. Also, even though this isn't even individually wrapped, it has a sealable bag. Let's go, Big W. Wait, I don't know. I threw it like I was mad at it, but I wasn't. Just excited. Okay. I think, you know what? We're going to save the Kit Kat. The Kit Kat's going to be last. Last, it's the most exciting item that I have. Shout out to the Beeb for pointing it out. They have a big old section. I love it. They have a, just a huge section of like the Kit Kat stuff. And then I look at the prices and I go, whoo, whoo, -hoo, Lord. Ooh, Lord, was that expensive. All right, here we go. We got an interesting little, I don't know how well I can show this off, but there's a, it has like a little plastic piece on, or maybe it's just the way that they, I'm not used to the white tip here. That's very weird. So it smells, it smells very creamy. I'm getting like an ice cream scent out of it. Vanilla. Melon, it says melon cream soda. Did you find folks know that if you read labels, you can gain information? says melon cream soda in English on the package. I bought it because it looked like Mountain Dew, but it's just melon cream soda. It's not bad. It's very heavy on the cream side. I don't know if melon's maybe just one of those light flavors that doesn't really like have a large impact, but I definitely taste the cream aspect of it.
it's there. <clears throat> it's definitely there. Hmm. Well, there you go. Okay. All right. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's a solid cream. This, I, if they don't make it already, or I just didn't see it, an orange cream soda from this company would most likely be killer. I should keep an eye out for that. I don't know. I don't remember what other kind of flavors they had there, but an orange cream from them would be dynamite, I feel. Okay. All right. Here we go. We have arrived at the final, the final item, item number 12 or number 14, if you're keeping track at home. Pardon me. Number 12 or number 14. It's bag number 12, item number 14. I asked you back in the first episode how many items you think we would try. I will accept 12 or 14 as the answer. Only on that first video. And I'll know if you cheated, okay? If you go in and comment now and the third episode's up, I know that you are a liar, all right? Okay? You didn't know. But if you guess 12 or 14, good for you. I will accept either answer. So here it is. Melon is, is cantaloupe. It's got to be cantaloupe. If it's not cantaloupe, I'm going to be real sad. I love cantaloupe. It is delicious. I love getting cantaloupe Italian sodas. They rule. Bruise Bros makes the best. The best and most consistent is at Bruise Bros. Jitters also very good. If you don't know what I'm talking about, sorry. Come up to the Pacific Northwest, I guess. Oh my gosh. It rules. It does not have the strongest scent to it. But once I put it in my mouth, I could really taste it on my tongue. And then I took a bite and it was just all over the place in the most positive way possible. Huge fan. So happy that they had these. So happy that the Beeb pointed them out to me, which I appreciate. Um, cause I know she, I know she loves finding things for me. Uh, but most of the time like, I already have it in my hand and I kind of feel bad, but I appreciate that she was able to spot this one early and get it to me before I could find it for myself. Um, these are great. You might be wondering, you might be wondering long time viewers probably, Oh, what about the orange cream or the orange chocolate orange? Those are unsurpassed. Those I don't think are ever going to be beat. Those are perfect. Perfect. The orange Chocolate orange Kit Kats are like a, a Kit Kat that I would eat an entire bag of without a second thought. These I would eat slower, but still really enjoy. The cantaloupe flavor is excellent. Um, I love cantaloupe, so that really works for me. It's a fun and interesting flavor that you wouldn't really expect. I think it's, it's going to be white chocolate or the cream instead, which might slow me down a little bit because I do prefer the milk chocolate variety. But still, like, just excellent. Just fantastic. Fun flavor. That I enjoy, and it, uh, it, they really nailed the cantaloupe flavor. So these were an excellent, not only an excellent pickup or spot by the Beeb, but uh, a fantastic way to end this burpy uh, Seattle journey. So with that, if you watched all three episodes, hey, be sure to let me know what you thought was the most interesting item that I grabbed while I was there. If you think that there's something interesting that I missed, and you live in Seattle and you're like, Hey, next time try this. Let me know down in the comments below or whatever. I don't know. Uh, anyway. Um, I don't know where I was going to go with that sentence. I lost track of it. Let me know again, you know, let me know what you thought was the most interesting item. Something you want to try. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see more of this. If you like the, the kind of specialized episodes of stuff that is in certain areas, let me know. And I will, uh, be happy to, go look for stuff while I'm uh, out adventuring. Like I said, been bit by the travel bug as of the last like year or so. I didn't realize how much I enjoyed traveling, but we're going on all those trips last year all over the place, really like kicked that into high gear of like, I like doing this and I like going places and it's fun. <laughs> I should do it more. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to make sure 
be sure to scroll down and make sure that you are subscribed and you have that bell rung. You'll be notified when I post new videos and you'll always be up to date on the latest episodes of Taste Test. If you have a suggestion of something you'd like to see, be sure to scroll down. Let me know what the item is, where to find it. You might see it on a future episode of Taste Test. And as always, the best way is make sure you have the notifications on. Thank you so much for joining me on this three-part journey inside the larger Taste Test universe uh, as I have taken you through 12 to 14 items <laughs> of things that I found in Seattle. We will see you next week for another brand new installment of this show. Until then, bon appetit.